What's going on? Uh, this is Alan Brown, aka Bullet the Kid, and uh, this is uh, part two. <sighs> part two of maybe part three. So I ran into some problems. Um, hopefully you can see this. I'm gonna try to get it to where you can see a little piece of it. But uh, the basic situation is this: the terminals on the back of the subwoofer they have like really really um thick wire coming off the sub itself and it's soldered into place which is nice except trying to find a spade terminal so that i could do uh the piece into the box is almost an impossibility so this is what i came up with so this is the situation that i'm talking about here i don't know if you can be able to see that so it's a spade terminal there right and uh, the spades that I have, which look like this, the hole is way too small to fit wire of this size. This is the wire. And this is pretty thick. So what I came up with is to use these. And then clip on to the back side of the um like it's uh like it's screwed in there and stuff like that. So if I can, I'm a, uh I'm gonna pause this and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm attempting to do and it should work out still. So hold on. Alright, so I'm back. So here's the thing. So uh this is what the top of the box looks like. And stuff like that there's four screws there uh, you take those four screws out and it's just a pop here so what I was talking about is uh, these these uh, nuts that are on here so I'm going to loosen those up and then put the um, the terminal underneath it and then tighten it down and that should give me my connection so that I can go ahead and do it so the biggest thing is setting them in place, fishing the wire through this big hole, locking it down, and then screwing it down. It already works. I already did the first side and stuff. I just got to find some screws to put the subwoofer to the box. Other than that, it's moving along. So maybe in this video, I'll get done with this, and then we could test fit it and test it out and see how the heck the thing sounds, man. Now, keep in mind, it's 10 o'clock, so... People got to wake up. People got to wake up. You know what I'm saying? Just got to do it. So, y'all uh, stay tuned. One second. All right. Sorry I keep chopping this thing up. I'm trying to make this the most fluid I possibly can. But I'm in the garage. Got the Mustang here and all that good stuff. And I made some headway on the uh, subwoofer install and stuff and actually have it in the car. So... Let's go ahead and take a check, take a look at what it actually looks like, and uh, tell you about how I had to wire it up and all that good stuff. Um, so it's popped open or whatever. And first look, this is what it looks like in there. Okay, so everything is pretty straight. Yeah, that's down there, so you can get a good look at it. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. So it's right there over here I guess and then set you over here and uh, let me pull you out and we can get a further look inside alright so I have it on a long cord from the amp which is located back here the amp is over there chilling um, for this particular setup, I have a uh, line output converter, so I still have the stock radio, the lowest of level radios or whatever. So whatever, I'm ready to actually swap the radio out if I do that, because I kind of like the functionality of it now. Other thing that sucks is the Bluetooth, but I found a solution for that too. So uh, I really don't need to swap the radio, but if I was to do it, That'd be the next thing I'd upgrade, aside from adding tweeters to the front uh, door speakers. 
But that's me not being able to leave well enough alone. So y'all bear with me. Anyway, back to this. So this is what it looks like, man. Uh, so uh, Kevlar around here. This is fiberglass. And uh, it's pretty stiff, man. I was very surprised by how heavy the freaking thing was by the time I had to like lift it up, put it in the trunk and stuff like that. So uh, I have it. I have this whole setup in limp mode because I don't want to blow these out. I actually want to wear these in the right way. So I have my amp which is the Boss 3000D. I have it set to like, probably like somewhere between 35 and 45%. No bass boost. Uh, I have the low pass frequency or the low pass filter probably on about 100 hertz. Somewhere in there, I tried to eyeball it. Uh, no bass boost, like I said. And the actual gain is on probably you know close to 40 45 or so so i'm not maxing these bad boys out by any means so i actually played them for a song or two and um actually sound real good uh whatever they wear in they're gonna be knocking like for real so i'm impressed with the subs I mean, I'm truly impressed with these subs. Like, realistically, I can take, I can buy a whole nother setup like this with the box, these two subs, maybe the tens, and throw it in my daily driver and be knocking and wouldn't even care. This actually sounds really good. So, um, but let's check it out. See so y'all hold up in the next little clip y'all see I'm actually be in the rip turning something on or whatever. So here we go. Okay. So we in the whip now. Um let's go ahead and turn on something. See what I got locked and loaded. And uh Maybe a CD. See what I got loaded in here. Now, that's with the bass on zero. So I'm going to progressively turn it up. Uh, to a point. Now keep in mind that the actual amp level is at like halfway, just under halfway. So here we go. So, song cut off. So, I'm going to run another one. This is on zero. It's on zero. All the way off.
Okay. Okay. So, I'm going. I'm gonna go ahead and say this whole install was a complete success. Um, I'm wondering what the hell this is gonna sound like whenever these bad boys break in. That's what I want to know. So y'all stay tuned for the months later review of the massive Hippo 84. Um, but this thing is stomping. And this is a factory head unit. Like, this is the most basic of basic. There's nothing. It's a CD player. It's a radio. AM. There's nothing special about it. Nothing. It's not even like the Shaker 500, Shaker 1000. No, this is a Mustang radio. This is a GT lower line. Just, it's got the nice seats or whatever. And it's a manual. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? But, it's... You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? Mustang is stomping. So, you know. But, yeah. Y'all leave in the comments what y'all think about the whole situation. And, um, I'm going to read them because I feel like y'all probably going to dig this whole little situation and stuff. I don't want to show the subs beating because they're not broke in. So, I'm not even about to push them to the point where you can actually watch them flex and stuff like that. Like, I'm not there yet. I just put these in tonight. So, um, but that probably will be coming later on. So y'all stay tuned. Uh, till next time, this is Alan Brown, aka Bullet the Kid. Y'all be easy.